We'll start with the Mustad S70, uh, size 8 wet fly nymph hook. We have some sheer 40 naught grey or tan. This is a all purpose uh, generic marabou nymph. Very simple pattern, but the technique has to be learned. Remove that and we'll go back to back there. Now, if you can see here, I've cut out just a short piece of stem from a olive brown marabou uh, plume. So we pull all these together, we can release it. I want the tail to be about so long. We just tack that in, make a couple of turns, check the tail. Yeah. We go back to about there, that's perfect. We can go back up now. We pull that over. I just correct my thread. Put one turn over it just to keep it out of the way. I'm using some extra fine uh, lead wire. We just hold this in position there. And we don't want to go all the way to the hook eye. That's about right there. We just break that off. Break that off there. Push it together. Like so. And then we take that turn off that was holding it in position. And we just go loosely over the lead wire. And we pull the marabou over. Just secure that. Then back over the lead wire. About halfway. Fold the marabou over. This will keep all the lead wire in check. And then we go back to here. And remove that. Looking good. Got a piece of flat copper wire. we we'll use for the rib. over there again with that. Now we come back to the tail base. I've cut another larger piece of marabou uh, stem. We're going to use both sides of this. What we do is we pull all this together like so and then we tie this in right down to the tail base again. Go up and over the marabou, get our thread out of the way. Now what we do is we trim off the stem. We bring all these pieces together. We don't want that tail in there. Bring all the pieces together. Put a hackle clip on them. And we twist them up. One turn. Another little twist. Oops. We go all the way up over the abdomen turn that upside down bring our thread back and go over there once lock it off Again, lock it off and we can remove these. It's much easier to remove them when the hackle player is on, otherwise they go everywhere if you remove that. That's 
good. Then we take our flat copper wire and we just want to go up over the abdomen. And I can tie that off. Remove it and go forward. Then I have another piece. This is a, from a again from the stem. We pull all the points forward. I'm going to be the legs, and then we go back. over the thorax and we pull everything over you see that there are some shorter ones there it's more or less unavoidable that like so So these shorter ones we can just get rid of now. And then we fold it back again. This is going to be our wing case. So we want to position it, if I turn the vise, as nicely as possible. in the middle at the top that's good then we return to the other half that we used for the abdomen that was left over trim off the stem tie this in on the thorax pull all these together Hackle plier on them, twist them up, and then we'll wrap the thorax. off, put that out of the way while I remove that again, good, and I've got one there, I don't want, take all our legs, Pull them back, just hold them in position. They're not right, too many on one side. That's good, and then we take our wing case. Pull that over. Two or three turns. Remove that. And what we do is we start at the hook eye and we work our way up. Like so. We finish our that 
So we take a brush and we just brush out any trapped marabou fibers. And that's it. That's the uh, general purpose marabou nymph. Uh, if you do tie them, have a look at it when it's under water. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, works a treat. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.